Hello, hello everybody. This is Divine Empress 71. Uh, coming back at you guys to do another reading. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Happy Saturday to you guys. Got a new deck in today, guys. I like it so far. Kind of played with it a little bit. You know, you get the feel of it, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's called, uh, yeah, these are called spiritual instincts. I like them. I like the color purple because, of course, you know, that's my favorite color. So, yeah. All right. All right, let's get into it, y'all. So we got, uh, so we got snake in disguise. Snake in disguise. Somebody is, uh, posing as a friend. Somebody... Uh, whoever this is, uh, they are actually a enemy. Well, uh, you know, but it can be a friend or a lover, thief, but someone is kind of like acting like they care, but they really don't. Yeah, they, 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 they trying to, uh, they, <clears throat> they come off as, as though. They are for you, but they're not. They're not. Somebody sees you as marriage material, and, and they hate nothing about you. They see you as marriage material, and they hate nothing about you, uh, collective. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, though. It could just be the same person. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then we got obsessed. Um, so it says, I'm yours, you're mine. The chemistry is insane, and I can't keep my hands off of you. So s some of you may have uh, been in a connection like this, or maybe you might be in a connection like this now, where, you know, um, the chemistry is off the chain. And you guys can't seem to keep your hands off each other. <laughs> or maybe or maybe this could be a past person. Then we got, yeah, this, uh, then we got unfinished business. Uh, yeah, somebody wants a second chance with you. Um, and they want, they want to show you that they can be the one for you. Somebody feels like they got some unfinished business with you, uh, collective. Mm. Then we got cycles. Got cycles. Keep going through the same thing. Wake up call. Break the cycle. Positive change. So some of you could have um, have gone through um, closed out a cycle with a person because you kept going through the same old cycle. And it, it was just it was just going around and around. It wasn't going anywhere. And this could be the same person who you had this insane chemistry with. Yeah. Who now feels like that they got some unfinished business with you. They also see you as marriage material. But you may see, but you may have found out some things about this person where you may look at them as a snake. Somebody that can't be trusted. And then we have forever love is here. Uh, trust, this is the one. So a spiritual connection, contentment, putting in the effort. Hmm, I wonder then. Um, maybe this person who uh, has this, feels they feel like, they have this unfinished business with you. Um, hmm. 
they may want to come they can they want to come back and put in the effort and they want you to trust them as well mm -hmm. hmm. but some of you may have found out that this person is like i said they're snakes mm -hmm. they can't be trusted Now, um, unless this this may be possibly new love, then we got ghosted uh, without notice. Yeah, without notice. This is without notice. No call, no shows, no text. Yeah, they just went ghost on you and disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, I told you, see, you don't trust this person. No more chances. It, it says, I can't trust you because you hurt me. Time after time. Lesson learned. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, lesson learned. Yeah, because you got, you got tired of these cycles with this person. Cycle after cycle. Hmm. That gift. Um, hmm. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to surprise you with something that you've been wanting. It's something that you've been wanting and waiting for for a while. That this person wants to gift you. Hmm. Yep. That means I. Uh, so that that tells me that this person. Who feel like they got unfinished business with you wants to come towards you or reach out to you. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because this person misses you. You got yearning here. Mm hmm. Yeah, they miss. You know, they think about the good times and. Uh, and and they and they they feel like that you are you are one of a kind. They never met anybody like you before. They never had anybody like you before. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And some of you may be leveling leveling up. You know, some of you may have a new car. You know, your money your your money is good. May have increased. You got a new career. Mm-hmm. Financially stable. Mm-hmm. Yep. After after this person ghosted you, you just you know some of you um decide to you know uh moved on and do you you know basically. Mm-hmm. Took it up you know stepped up a notch. Mm. But some of you. You were dealing with somebody who had baby mama, baby daddy drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, they dealing with, you could have been dealing with somebody who might have been, uh, had, had child uh, custody issues, going to court, uh, fighting over custody over the kids, uh, uh, fighting over child support. I mean, you know, just family issues. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Some of you uh, could have ghosted this person because they were having a lot of baby mama, baby daddy drama. And you, and you just didn't want that drama in your life. And you could have like, mm-mm. No, you could have just gone and uh, some of you could have cut this person off because of that. 
Mm -hmm. Emotionally immature. Yeah. So you were dealing with somebody who didn't know how to treat you. Collective for some of you. They didn't know how to treat you. Hmm. Yeah, it, it was the co the connection was short was uh, short lived for a lot of y'all. Mm -hmm. That was a it was a disconnect. Um, this person wasn't really showing up in the connection like they should have. Mm -hmm. So, um, so for some of you, I'm, some of you ghosted this person. Mm -hmm. Or at least they may feel ghosted by you. Yep. Mm. This person could be looked at as a father figure. It is a, a, a masculine. Uh, somebody who, you know, caring, compassionate, a loving, emp empathetic kind of person. Very uh, forgiving. Could be even um, somebody who may be um, highly intuitive. Or this may be somebody that you're manifesting. This could be somebody that you may be manifesting. Somebody who's going to um, have these uh, type of, uh, you know, qualities about them. Okay. Hmm. Then we have, <laughs> yeah, this person, this person that ghosted you, or, or you ghosted them, this person that you don't trust, they may be dealing with some karma for some of them, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, you may be, while, while you are experiencing good karma, they are experiencing bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you have been uh, ignoring this person, this person is trying to ignore you as well. It's, it's like y'all are mirroring each other too. Uh, but... But for some of you, what caused you to ignore this person? For some of you, is the fact is the fact that because there's no mutual understanding between the two, and you you know, so you don't you don't get along, so you don't talk, you know. Hmm. Yeah, and you could have cut this person off. Uh, because they, because this is how they would treat you, you know, at one point in time. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody who was a show off. You know, they like to floss, flex. Uh, you know, their money. Uh, very flashy type of person. Mm -hmm. They got a, uh, they got a, uh, they got an ego, a big ego. I mean, mm. but at the same time, this is somebody who flosses and flex and everything. But they are very. Uh, this is you may see this person as a cheapskate, and somebody who's very tight with their money, very selfish with their money. You know what I'm saying? But yet and still, though, they like to ride in their little flashy cars. Mm-hmm. A very, a, a very materialistic type of person. Mm-hmm. A show-off. Mm. Yeah, so um, you guys could have had uh, when you were dealing with this person, you you could have had a like a date night or a movie night, 
where you guys might have went to the movies, you know, together. Mm -hmm. um, this person thinks about that. They they miss, uh, uh, you know, all the fun that, you know, that they had with you when you guys, you know, would go out together. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Mm, so, you you could be online dating or this person. Maybe you could have met this person online. Mm-hmm. Yep. But Spirit is saying that if you are going to online date, there's going to be some good ones and some bad ones out there. So, make sure that you feel them out. Make sure that you use discernment. You know, because it's a bunch of clowns. On these on these dating apps, y'all. I'm telling you. Yeah. So we got you we got figuring 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 it out. Um yeah, see, somebody somebody is real this person is realizing that they were wrong and they want to uh and they want to fix it and make it right with you. That's, but that's if you will allow it. Mm-hmm. Because, like I say, this person has shown you that they, that, that they are deceptive. They are a snake. They can't be trusted. You know what I'm saying? They came into your life, you know, pretending to be something that they weren't. Mm-hmm. Somebody, or maybe this person, uh, is uh, with mystery lover being here. They watching you in secret. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, and this could be somebody that you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be this past person. It could be somebody that you know, uh, Collective, that always was attracted to you they always wanted you but they just never came forward and told you yeah but this but this is somebody who may who always stayed in the and stayed behind the scenes they stayed in the background because they knew you were you were with somebody else at the time but but if they find out or know that you're single they just may step up and let you know that they've been you know uh, that they've been interested in you for you know for quite some time, yeah. But this is a very shy person. This person is shy. Whoever this person is, they you know, uh, they just they just shy. They don't you know. Um, this is somebody who really don't get around much with the you know with the ladies and with the men, you know. Mm hmm. Hmm. Experience the unknown. Yeah. So experiencing the unknown. So, so that this is telling me that there's some new opportunities that's going to be coming, coming up for some of you. Mm hmm. It might be. Whatever this is, I don't know. You might be a little hesitant to, to take a chance on it. Uh, but spirit is saying, uh, you know, that don't don't cheat yourself, you know, out of something that was meant for you, that could have been meant for you. So, so whatever this door this door is, this door of opportunity is, it's waiting for you to walk through it. Uh, but it's going to be something amazing, whatever this is. Might be a new connection, a new relationship, uh, you know, something. But whatever it is, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. Yeah. Mm hmm Then I thought about it. It could be this uh, mystery person who's been holding back uh, their, you know, their interest in you. 
uh, may want to step up, you know. And this could be a part of that new beginning, mm -hmm, that new opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, door, a door is open. A door is open. Mm. Yeah, take a leap of faith and go for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what spirit is saying. Hmm. What is this? Uh, countless. Oh, okay. So, so you're gonna. A, a lot of some of you are gonna have options, cause we got countless suitors. Is here, but you are, but but you're the only one I see and want. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's that's this that's whoever this mystery lover is. This person that's been watching you that's been kind of watching you for a while and they interested in you but they just hadn't come forward you 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 may know who this person is connected but you don't know that they they have been interested in you for the long for a long time yeah yeah some of you some of you are going to have options hmm And you got to read between the lines. So, somebody is going to, some, some, somebody is going to, um, whatever it is that you need to know, to know about a person or about this particular person, whether it's this, this new person that's been watching you and wants to come forward or this past person. Somebody is going to tell you the answers that you are seeking without knowing that they are telling you these answers. Yeah, they're going to be doing that. They're going to be doing it, but not knowing that they're doing it. They're going to just, they, yeah, and you're going to be, you know, intuitively picking, picking it up, you know, mm -hmm. reading between the lines. Hmm. Yeah. And here's pampering. Some of you may be doing that self-love, pampering yourself. Mm -hmm. taking, taking yourself out on a date. You don't have to have nobody with you. You know, take yourself out to the movies. Take yourself out to a nice dinner. I mean, you know, date, date yourself and get to know yourself all over again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Some of you might be going to the spa, you know, that's nice. Hmm. Getting those uh, uh, body massage, you know, getting your nails done, your toes done. Hmm. Then we got soulmate. Yeah, somebody wants you to share their world. They want to be in yours. Yeah, but... Whoever this person is going to be, because this, like I said, this is new. I, I'm picking up new love here. It's going to be a mutual feeling, though. I don't. It, it, it's going to be sh the 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 the, um, the values are going to be shared between you guys. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. That's why, like I said, you're going to have, uh, you know, options. You're going to have options. So you may have to weed out. So for some of you, you may have to weed out a couple of bad apples, you know, uh, before this particular one come along. Hmm. And then some of you may be tested by spirit with the ex coming back, you know, with the ex coming back because they feel like they got unfinished business. 
you may be tested uh, with this with this X before this new soulmate comes in. Mm. Then we got uh, exciting times. So this person from the past, they they felt like that they could be themselves with you, uh, collective. Mm -hmm. They felt like you. They felt like you made them happy. Uh, they felt happy being with you. You were different from what they were used to, you know. But. Mm -hmm. But this person has some issues, though. So. Let's see. Mm hmm. Because this is an ex lover. This is an ex lover. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because, see, now, now, see, they want you back. Because for some reason, now, you know, they realize that you are the only one for them. And they don't want nobody else. Mm. Well, how come they didn't think about all that? When they were ghosting and being sneaky and being a show off, you know, got this ego problem. How come they didn't think about all that then? Um, mm -hmm. And they could be having some money issues. This, uh, this past person. Because that's part of their karma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want, I want to take you out, but I can't right now. Mm. Hmm. Ain't that a... Ain't, well, never mind. I ain't, I ain't gonna say that. I want to take you out, but I can't right now. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Then we got wedding. Someone, someone is married, has already tied the knot, and engaged. You know, someone is, is married. Somebody, this this person, I don't know. They they could be they they could have married, or maybe they could have been married when you met them, or maybe they might get the news that you may be married, or that you are. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that you are uh, engaged. Mm -hmm. hmm. Then we got Quill up here. This person is uh they some of them may be going out to the club, you know, having drinks and nights out with their friends or whatever. But they still think about you, though. For some reason, it's, it, it, it's you are the one that they want to see. Mm -hmm. You are the one that they want to see. Some of them could be going to the clubs hoping that they'll bump into you. Mm -hmm. Bored. Yeah. They could be experiencing uh, some boredom. Uh, going out on these dating and dates. <laughs> so, and they finding out that they that they are not on the same page with these people. But they are also finding out that the, these people are not you either. Because this person has been, may have been looking for you and other people. And uh, so far it hasn't worked out. Mm. Yeah, we got uh, heart lockdown. This this person, <laughs> uh, they don't they they may have their heart closed off, you know, uh, to love. Mm. Cause it says here, I'm not open for love, but when I am. You're going to need the combination. Huh. So, huh. 
Okay, so what they're saying is is that they they only want one person to have the key to their heart or the combination to their heart. So basically, this is somebody who wants to be uh, exclusive. Mm -hmm. They want to be just only with one person. Mm -hmm. hmm. But for right now, though, they're not open. Yeah. In other words, uh, this person is guarded. It could be the new person, the person that you may meet, or it's, it could be this past person as well. But this past person do feel rejected, though, by you. They do. They feel rejected by you. Uh, yeah, because you felt like that you needed to end the cycle with this person. Some of you probably just felt like maybe I just need to take a break. Some of you just took a a permanent break and said, you know, I'm done. Mm hmm Yeah. And some of you, uh, with these options that you're going to have or that you may have, you are going to reject some of them. All of them are not going to be suitable. You are going to reject some of these suitors that may be coming that that may be coming your way. You're going to reject some of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in order, you know, but you're going to have to do that in order to get to, you know, in order to meet the one that you want to meet in order for the right one to come along. You got to keep your space clear, you know, for the right one, you know. And Spirit is saying if, you, if you're using your discernment and you know what you want, you will know when the right one comes along. Hmm. Uh... Then we got luxury suites. Somebody wants to spend the night. <laughs> Somebody wants to spend the night with you. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about hot and heavy. Uh, mm, I don't know. I ain't going to trust that one. <laughs> but anyway, somebody want to get with you sexually. They do. Uh -huh. It could be this past person, too. Due to the fact that they missing you so much. And and they and they missing what they had with you. Yeah. Some of you are going to uh when you know when you know with these suitors and stuff, some of them may be inviting you, you know, for a nightcap. You know, but like I said, you know, you just use your discernment collective. That's all I can say. Having a baby. Yeah. Um, somebody uh, wants a family with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you had a family with this past person. Maybe they probably want, or they may want to come back saying that they want a family with you. Mm. Um, but this person that's secretly been watching you that wants to get to know you, then, you know, they, they may want the same thing as well. I mean, you know, or you may be meeting somebody who may want a family. Hmm. Yeah. Some of you decided to, you know, you, you could have been living with some, with, with your partner, but you moved out and moved on. You could, you and this past person could have been living together for some of y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because, see, you got, some of you got tired. You just got tired of the cycle and the fact that this person would not compromise. Yeah. There was no, uh, you know, there was no mutual understanding. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, we got three. Mm. 
You got a bad date. Mm. Chasing you. And letting go. Okay. Well. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, some of you may have already experienced a few bad dates. You don't. You don't. You don't think it's gonna work out. <laughs> Did you know? You don't feel like you were a match with this person. Could have been the same thing with this past person. You didn't feel like they was a match. Yeah. Um, so you you decided to move on from the drama. Move on from somebody who you thought that you felt like they were they were a snake. They were not to be trusted. And you decided to love on yourself and, and start living again. And leave this in the past. Leave this person in the past. Yeah. But this past person though, they don't want to leave you alone. Uh, collective. They feel like they got some unfinished business with you. They are going to keep trying. And huh. so in other words, then you're going to, um, in other words, you're going to hear from this person again. Mm -hmm. This person may have got pit. They may have gotten pissed off at you in the past. This past person did. After you confronted them about some things that they were being deceptive about, they got caught. And you, you, uh, you, you exposed this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they got they got mad at you about that. Mm -hmm. Well, and then plus, you know, you just got you got frustrated. You just got frustrated, tired of you, you know. You just got tired of this person's shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get one more. Oh, we got two. All right. Ready for, yeah, ready for love. Mm. Somebody that you may meet is going to be ready for love. Tall, tall and handsome. But this is somebody who's not going to play no games, though. This is somebody who wants commitment. No games. They want commitment. Emotionally available. And they know how to treat you. Come through. Uh-huh. Yeah, and whoever this is, they're going to be single, and they might be a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody who's passionate, a go-getter. Mm-hmm. Courageous. If it's a female, she's going to be somebody who's very curvy. A beautiful person. But if it's a man, he's going to be tall. Tall and handsome. Hmm. Not in a nice dresser. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right, then, y'all. Well, I'm going to stop this right here. Let's get a message from Spirit, and then we'll close out this reading, y'all. Hmm. Spirit. Message for collective, please. Message for collective. Oh, we got two. Um, when there when there are questions uh, you need assistance with, go inward. Sit with yourself. Meditate on the question. Ask for help also. Then trust your intuition as most often uh, 
as most often the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We are with you always, okay? That's spirit. That's, that's your angels, your spirit guides that will be with you always. Yeah. Um, sometimes, you know, like for me, I pray about things. And then I ask for clarity, you know, um, on which way I should go with something, and which way I should move. Um, and if you wait, you wait, you know, you wait long enough and you'll get it. You know, you'll get the answer. Usually, though, for me, it's just like it just comes out of nowhere. But Yeah, but they are, but your, your spirit guides are letting you know that they are always with you all the time, no matter what's going on. Then we got uh, res resilience is one of the strongest qualities you have. It has gotten you through so many trials and tribulations in the past, and it will continue to do so. Lean on that inner tower of strength anytime that you need it, because you got this. You got this, collective. That's what spirit wants you to know. You are a lot stronger than you think. You are a lot stronger than you think. And that is true. Resilience is most of us that has it. That's that's one of our best qualities. Is because we have the the ability to overcome, you know, trials and tribulations. We 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 have the the, the strength. It, it's a it's a strength that comes from within. It's something that's locked in the spirit that allows us to be able to muscle through anything. And I know that with God on my side, I can get through anything. I can. You can too. You just got to trust him and keep him near you at all times, collective. That's how I do. But anyway, that's all I have for this read. You guys, I, I hope that it it resonates with you. I hope it was a blessing for someone out there. Uh, if you if you like, you know, give me a like, give me a comment. Um, and if you have not joined the channel, please do. If you have not subscribed, I would love to have you. Um, and then until next time, you guys, have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.